Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for July 27th of 2022, well, it is titled Crepuscular Moon Rays Over Denmark. So what do we see here? Well, here we see our moon off in the distance, very close to the horizon. And this is the moon rise in this case, as the moon begins to rise up above the horizon. And we'll tend to look a more of a reddish orange color as we look at it close to the horizon, because we're looking through a larger chunk of Earth's atmosphere. Earth's atmosphere is very good at scattering blue and green light, but not so good at scattering red and orange light. That means when light comes through very close to the horizon, when we're looking through more atmosphere, it will tend to look redder because it is the red and orange light that is making it straight through and the blue and green light gets scattered all over the place. Now in this case, we see the what we call the crepuscular rays coming from it. And as that comes through there with the clouds in the foreground, we can see the rays created by again as an atmospheric effect. And in fact, when they are at their strongest, they will ray out from one side. And if they're really strong, you can see them on the other side of the sky directly opposite the object. And we can see those as anti crepuscular rays on the opposite side. Now these are typically visible with very bright objects and the two brightest objects in the night sky being our sun and our moon or I should say in the sky overall not necessarily the night sky of course for the sun but they're the two brightest objects and they are the ones that are going to be best able to produce this effect through our atmosphere. Now these are also visible close to the horizon and again it is because of looking through so much air in those cases it could be looking through so much more air at those cases and again these are an atmospheric effect so that means that you would only see these on an object with an atmosphere so if you were for example standing on our moon you would never see crepuscular rays our moon has no atmosphere it and would therefore not be able to produce crepuscular rays because you would need the atmosphere in order to do that. You would also watch objects rise and set their colors would not change. So a sunrise would not look red close to the horizon of the moon. So some things that we take for granted here on Earth such as those are actually effects due to our own atmosphere and are not a, a property of the astronomical object that we are looking at. So that was our picture of the day for July 27th of 2022. It was titled Crepuscular Moon Rays Over Denmark. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone, and I will see you in class.